Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a song and a Bible reading. I'm so glad that you could join me this morning. We're going to be reading from Psalms 31 today, another wonderful psalm. We can take so much from the experiences of David and the other psalmists, and they were so faithful to write them down for us so that we can benefit from them. Such a wonderful thing. And we pray for his Holy Spirit to come and abide with us as we read and, and sing. The love of God is greater far than tongue or pen can ever tell. It goes beyond the highest star and reaches to the lowest hell. The guilty pair bowed down with care. He gave his son to win his erring child he reconciled and pardoned from his sin O love of God how rich and how measureless and strong it shall forevermore endure the saints and angels song amen the love of god Never forget the far-reaching arms of the love of God. It says in Romans 8 that nothing can separate us from the love of God. Nothing you could ever do, say, happen to you, experience. God is always there, able to reach you. And um, don't ever let guilt and condemnation follow you around if you're a child of God. All right. So we're going to be reading from Psalm 31 today. Let's just pray. Heavenly Father, I just pray that if there is anyone who deals with guilt in any way that's listening today, Lord, that you would speak to them about your love. Father, we want to thank you that you loved us so much that you sent your only begotten Son, that if we would believe on you, then we would not perish and we would not live in condemnation, but we can live with life in Christ. So Lord, just make that so real to each and every one. Lord, I pray that you would sit with us as we read. Lord, let it, um, let it just fit the need. Father, everyone has their different things that they're bothered with, different things that they're doubting, and we just pray that your word would go forth and minister to that need. We just ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So Psalm 31. <clears throat> Excuse me. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thine ear to me, deliver me speedily. For thou, be thou my strong rock, for an house of defense to save me. For thou art my rock and my fortress, therefore, for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have laid privily for me, for thou art my strength. Into thine hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. I have hated them that regard lying vanities. 
but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy, for thou hast considered my trouble. Thou hast known my soul in adversities and hast not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. Thou hast set my feet in a large room. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. Mine eye is consumed with grief, yea, my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength faileth because of mine iniquity, and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach among all mine enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and a fear to mine acquaintance. They that did see me without fled from me. I am forgotten as a dead man out of mind. I am like a broken vessel. For I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side. While they took counsel together against me, they devised to take me to take away my life. But I trusted in thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my God. My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies and from them that persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me for thy mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed and let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the pride of men, Thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he hath shown me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before thine eyes. Nevertheless, thou heardest the voice of my supplications when I cried unto thee. O love the Lord, all ye his saints. For the Lord preserveth the faithful, and plentifully rewardeth the proud doer. Hmm. Be of good courage. He shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. Wonderful, wonderful. It talks about us not being ashamed. That's that condemnation that sometimes hangs over Christians who are sorry for their past where we know that if we call upon Him and we trust in Him, He will take care of those things. He wipes that slate clean. He allows us to walk in freedom and in newness of life, not with those chains that just drag us down and hold us back, but on, on eagle's wings, he, he lifts us up. And that is the life that he has for you and me in Christ Jesus. So no more let worry and guilt and doubt hold you back. But walk in the light of his word. He has shown us what it is like. We've read through the New Testament. <clears throat> really, the New Testament, once you, um, you we, we have the Gospels that teach us what Jesus was like and the things he said. And then throughout the rest of the, the New Testament, it's, it's a thesis of what it looks like to walk in Christ and in heavenly places with Christ. It's not a list of do's and don'ts to make us feel bad or condemned, but shows us how to walk and how to receive the power to walk. Wonderful thing. He's not only saved us and wiped us clean, that wouldn't be too much good without giving us the power to walk in the way he would have us to walk. And so Jesus said, it's expedient, it's important, it's necessary that I go away, that I can send to you the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, 
who will not just walk with you, but he'll abide in you. And then from out of your innermost being will flow rivers of living water. Wonderful. And now, day by day, we learn to submit ourselves unto the Holy Spirit within us. We are no more um, in the flesh, but we have our life in Christ. We are a new creation. It's you and the Holy Spirit working together to live out the Christ life. And our job as the flesh is to submit unto his Holy Spirit. And you know he talks to you. You know he lets you know where you've done, <clears throat> where you could do better, where you've done wrong, and he leads you into what you can do right. Reading this is one really, really, really good way to allow the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you. So don't be without reading. And I hope you read it more than what you're reading with me. That would be my hope. I'm sure glad that you're reading a chapter a day with me. But you know, we can find much wisdom and guidance in the scriptures. And that's a sure way that the Holy Spirit can lead and guide us in that new walk with Christ, which is not after the flesh, but it's according to the Spirit. So submit to the Spirit of God within you today and he will guide you. Are we going to make mistakes? Sure we do. We all make mistakes. We all um, maybe misread a situation, or maybe, maybe we all let something slip out of our mouth maybe that shouldn't have. It happens all the time. But if we confess our sin, he's faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness and allows us to walk on. It's just like a natural family, a father and a son say, you know, as the, as the little son grows up, he's going to make mistakes, but the father guides him, corrects him when necessary, and God will. He's loving Heavenly Father. He'll be with you. He'll guide you. But it's not for any purpose other than to allow you to grow up in His image. That's His goal right from the very beginning. Let us make man in our image. And so He's doing that in you. And so, submit to the Holy Spirit in your life today, and He'll do that. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for joining us for our live stream last night. We had a great time. Anna Lynn was in fine form. Um, she doesn't always get to join us, but she did last night and ended up singing a whole lot of songs. Nate sang a couple, and uh, it was a good time. So, thanks for joining us, and Lord willing, I'll see you at a song and a Bible reading tomorrow morning. All right. Have a wonderful day.